Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well. And I'm excited because I am going back to the little church run thrift store that I've come to love. It's only open two days a week and it opens at nine o'clock in the morning and closes at noon. So I always get there early. So I'm about to head out the door. I have cash in hand. My eye doctor did originally suggest this place to me. So I have to give credit where credit is due. Thank you to my healthcare professionals out there. But I usually am there for a couple hours and then well, it only is open for three hours, but then afterward it's near to a Goodwill. So I usually try to hit that up afterward. We'll see if I find anything there today. It's always a hit or miss with that Goodwill. So that's the plan. I'm gonna take you guys thrifting with me at a little church run charity shop and then also at a regular, just good old Goodwill. So it should be a fun time and I will show you everything I get when I get home, of course. So let's go head out to the thrift store together and then give you guys a good old thrift haul when we get home. What do you say? I think I'll be fun. So I spent $28, I believe, in the clothing section. I spent $4 and a quarter in home goods. So in all, like a little bit over 30 bucks, but I've got a huge little trash can there. I've got a huge trash bag full now and another little bag. So I think that went pretty well. I'm excited to show you guys what I get home, but first we're gonna stop over at the Goodwill. Let's go see what they have. This is my first time finding Toad & Co. It's a linen dress, but the columns make it look like it's gonna move slow. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but we are heading into spring. 
It's really cute. Let me think about it. $7.99 plus 20% off. Not bad. Okay, we're back home. It is the next day and I have so many goodies to share with you guys. I did find quite a few things at the little thrift store and I paid $28 at the end of the day for all the stuff that I got. And then I also went to that Goodwill and I spent like $60. So it was a really good trip and I found so many amazing pieces. I'm gonna show you guys what I got at the little church run thrift shop first and then I'll show you the Goodwill things too, but it was a good trip. So let's jump into the haul. So first up, I got a hat. This is a really cool, I think this might be vintage. It's hard to tell. I would say it's pretty close to being vintage if it's not. It's a Baltimore Orioles little baseball hat. I liked the color on this. And again, I live very, very close to Baltimore. So I find things like this quite often, but I usually list hats like these between like 20, 25 bucks. And that's a pretty good return on my investment. It was a dollar at the thrift store. And then I did pick up another Vera Bradley purse, but this one's in such good condition. I could not leave it there. And I think she charged me a dollar for this. So if I found this in the bins for a dollar, I would also pick it up. So that's kind of my mentality about this whole thrift store in general is these are pretty much bins pricing. So if I find something that I can turn a profit of 20 bucks on, I think it's pretty much worth it. And this is in excellent condition. I believe this is the front, but it looks very similar from the front to the back. And then the inside is a dark navy blue and it is in great condition. And I think for this, I can probably sell it around 25 to 30 bucks. So for me, that's worth it. And then all sweaters this day were all women's sweaters were a dollar. And so I got, I think like five sweaters and then also all of their jeans and like pants and things were also a dollar a piece. So again, bins pricing. So I went a little hard. This first sweater I think is really, really cute. It's this kind of, not really a diamond print because we do have some overlap towards the middle there, but it's this really nice kind of tan colored mock neck sweater. And it is so soft, it's really good quality. And this is from Tahari. And I've sold some good Tahari pieces for 30, 50 bucks. So for a dollar, I thought I can probably list around 35 and then hope to make 30-ish, 25. This is in a size small and it feels like an amazing fabric, but the mixture is nothing really special. It's 48% viscose, 31 polyester, 21 nylon. So I thought it was really nice though. I like the color and I think it's really cute. So I picked that up for a dollar and then I also picked this up for a dollar. And I have been very, very selective about my Ann Taylor and Loft pieces that I pick up because they don't normally sell for a ton of money. But I thought this was such a cute colored sweater. It is a turtleneck and it is from Loft and it's in a women's size large. Since it's not from the outlet and since it's in great condition, a really pretty substantial piece, a great color. I thought I'd pick it up for a dollar and I bet I can resell this. Probably list it around 25 to $35 again and try to make 20 bucks off of that. But it's such a cute color. I think it's so sweet and it's definitely a little bit longer, which I personally prefer and like. And then it still has the remove before wearing or washing tag on the inside. So it feels brand new. That's why I picked it up. And then I also grabbed another really pretty colored sweater. These might've come from the same person, honestly. This is a nice little cable knit sweater in this really really gorgeous purple color and it's from Talbot's. I've really been enjoying selling Talbot's lately. It's been doing well for me. So I decided to pick it up. It's in a size women's extra large, which is a great size, really beautiful color. And I like that it also has some marling of different colors within the fabric itself. So I thought it was really cute. It's really soft as well. It's a mixture of cotton, acrylic, and polyester, 
really nice. Again, hopefully the little list is around $25, $35. And that's kind of like what I'm hoping for, especially with these pieces. I haven't, I have found some really high quality, high end pieces there that I've sold for more than that. But for these pieces, probably just gonna be bread and butter items. And then we also picked up this Talbot's piece. And this is, oh, this might be a dress. How long is this? What in the world? It's quite long. Size, oh, the size small. Made in Korea. Is this vintage? Huh, interesting. I think this might be a dress. I just now saw some stains on it though, so I'm gonna have to do some stain treatment. Don't know if it's worth it. Did not look this over very closely apparently. This is a more vintage Talbot's piece in a size small. It has those gold buttons on the front. It's striped, it's long, it has those pockets. If it's not a dress, then it is definitely tunic length. It's pretty long, but I'm gonna have to do some stain treatment on that unfortunately, but this was also only a dollar. So at the end of the day, if it doesn't come out, then it's only a dollar wasted, which is not too bad. One of the last sweaters I picked up was this one, which is another really beautiful cable net piece. And this is vintage Ralph Lauren, which I personally love selling. I really like selling Ralph Lauren. It has a pink little polo guy on it. This is Ralph Lauren Sport, size medium. And I know it's vintage because it says made in Hong Kong on the tag. So super nice piece, white, no flaws, which is excellent. And I think it should be able to probably, again, list around 35 for that piece and hopefully sell 25 to 30. Then I picked up some pants as well. I went through every single pair of women's pants and jeans. And let me tell you, there were a lot of them there. I think you guys got a pretty good look at the thrift store this time. It's pretty small, but there's a lot stuffed into that place. So this first pair that I picked up were a pair of khaki pants. They're in really good condition really a nice pair of pants and these are also from Talbot's in a size um, eight petite and they are the Talbot's heritage pants. I looked up comps on everything multiple times before I bought just to make sure I wasn't buying things that weren't going to actually sell for very much or move quickly um, but those look like they will sell for around 35. And again these were all a dollar then these I was surprised to find a pair of Levi Strauss pants there especially because the clientele usually that is donating is pretty, a little bit older usually. So I feel like these were a pretty good find. These are the 721 high rise skinny ankle jean in a women's size 32. So a nice pair of high quality jeans. I think a 32 is a 14. So they're really cute, great condition. I think I could probably resell these around the same price, 25, $35. They were a dollar. I do know quite a few people in my life that are this size though. So. If I don't sell them, I will just pass them along to somebody that will wear them. And then another pair of, I think these are Talbots. Yep, Talbots Flawless High Rise Barely Boot Jeans. Now, this is a very popular style right now. And I think that this is a great size. So I thought these were a really cute pair of jeans. And I like picking up sizes that aren't just, you know, in the traditional zero to 12. These are a nice size, 18, and they should do really well. I think, again, for these, 25, 35 bucks, and all of these are adding up. They're not huge numbers, but for paying $1 for everything, if I sell each piece for $25 and make $20 of net profit on each piece, I'm looking at a couple hundred dollars of profit because I only spent a little bit on each one. So that's great. And we have two more pairs of pants that I picked up. These ones I thought were really cute. Oh, and these were actually new with tags. I didn't even realize that. These are from New York and Company, which I never really buy things from, but these are new with tags and they are a faux leather pant, maybe a little legging, and they're brand spanking new. These are in a size small tall, and this is what the tag looks like. And then these were originally $70. So I think I can probably resell these for, let's say 35 for those. And again, I spent $1 on them. And then the last pair of pants I picked up is a brand that I have seen quite often and I just assumed was nothing. But sometimes this brand is sold at Revolve, which I thought was interesting when I was looking at comps. But this is the brand 3 by one which never heard of. I don't know a ton about it, so I don't wanna give you guys advice on this brand because this will be my first time trying it out but it looks like it should be doing okay, like maybe 35, 40 bucks. Um, it's in a size 30, and this is what they look like. They're just a plain blue pair of pants. It looks like they're skinny leg, which if I could pick, I would pick like a wide leg right now because that's more popular. 
but to give a try for one dollar it's kind of like i will be willing to test many things at that kind of price point so we'll see what that one does but i've seen that so many times and i just pass it so it might be worth looking up and then i found this hanging outside this is in a men's size medium and it is a north face little full zip fleece and I know that some of their fleeces aren't doing super well in my closet, but men's pieces tend to sell better for me from the North Face than women's, especially the fleece. Any jacket or coat tends to sell just well in, in general, but for a fleece, I feel like a men's is definitely better. And this is a nice blue color, great condition. I paid $3 for this, and I think I can probably resell that for around 35 to 40. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful cardigan. This was also $1, and I think that this is a great pickup too. This is from J Gel in a size large, and it's very Americana a little bit, but I think that it could pass all year round as well. It's this long cardigan duster, and then it has these buttons that are nice and large on the front. I just think it's really cute. I thought the quality was really nice. It's a really nice knit, and I do enjoy selling J Gel, and it does do pretty well. So I think for that, I can probably get around 30 bucks. And then we have another Talbot's sweater, a nice light blue color. It might be a little purplish, it's kind of periwinkle. Then it has that V with the little pocket on the front. Very cute piece, and it's in a Talbot's size large. And I think this is so sweet. Like, I love the color, I love the length. I think this is, yep, it's gotta be a linen blend. It's 55% linen. So, a very nice piece. Again, probably 25 to 35 for that. And then this I picked up, I think actually I'm gonna give it to my dad. I picked this up for him. It is a Columbia piece, which doesn't sell super great for me right now, unless it's like a puffer. But I did think for my dad, I could pick up a nice little full zip, kind of lightweight jacket for him. And it's harder to find some things in his size. So I was happy to pick that up for only three bucks. I thought that was a yes. It's kind of like a rain slicking material. And then I guess somebody probably donated both of these. Um, but this one I was thinking about reselling. I don't think my dad is gonna be interested in this, but it is this polo jacket. So Polo Ralph Lauren, really nice size. It's a size 3X. And it is a kind of a fun jacket with that full zip and then that grid on the inside. Kind of like a buffalo check, but a little bit not. And then Polo Ralph Lauren in a size 3X. And again, great condition and i sell a lot of ralph lauren and like vintage ralph lauren pieces for good money usually like 40 50 bucks so that's what i'm kind of hoping for for this piece as well and then i have three more pieces here before we jump into the goodwill pieces the goodwill pieces i was definitely much more selective with but um, i'm excited to show you those as well this is a gorgeous dress this is from calvin klein and i did get this at the little thrift store it has sheer sleeves which i thought were really pretty I love the floral and this is in a women's size four. So this was $3 and I think for this, I'll probably be able to list around 35 and then hopefully make at least 28-ish on that. And then I did find these two little bags, which were really fun. This one I thought was really cute. This is a little leather coach, kind of not wallet, but you know, like a card holder kind of a size has lots of spaces for cards and then the inside is a little bit of a plaid i thought it was really cute i got this for a dollar and then i also got this for a dollar and i thought this was really cute too i'm not sure if this is vintage or not but i thought it was really cool it is an ll bean little bag and i thought this was a cool style and i did a reverse image search and there was an actual style name for it and a lot of these were selling around 20 bucks so for a dollar I decided to pick it up and I thought it was a really cool LL Bean piece. So I liked that. It looks like it's literally never been used. So those were the last clothing items I picked up from the inside. Then I went outside as well. So let me show you the little fun items I picked up there. So there were no, you know, Xbox 360s or anything crazy this day, but I did pick up a few things I'm mostly gonna give as gifts to people in my life. The first thing was this adorable pair of squish mallow headphones. I picked these up with the intention of giving them to my cousin Linnea, whom you guys have probably met a few times. I thought these were so freaking cute. Like, look at the little octopus. Is that what it is? I thought those were sweet. So I paid $4.25 for all of the things I'm about to show you. I got this pretty cool little Batman on a little motorcycle thing for Jeremy's office. He mostly has a fun kind of theme going on in his office. And then I found a Beanie Boo in this like cute little pink unicorn coloring it's so so nice and very fluffy and i love comps and they were pretty good for beanie boos so 
thought I got all three of the Beanie Boos for a dollar together, so I thought I could probably resell these at least or lot them up and make probably at least eh, 20 bucks off of them. So those are two little unicorns, which are so cute. And then I thought this was a Beanie Boo, but I did not realize it is not. But I thought this was the cutest one. Look how cute that is with the little unicorn horn. This, it says on it, is a Coco Surprise. Interesting. I'm not really sure what this is. Is this one of those like LOL surprise doll things? But this is an animal. I'm not really sure. If you guys know what this is, let me know. But I just thought it was adorable. And the last thing I got was for one of my cousin's daughters whom we're really close with. And it's this really cool young naturalist pop-up handbook on butterflies. I thought this was so cute. And there's all these interactive pieces to it. So I love that. <laughs> this was supposed to be like $20 originally, $28 for Canadian. Um, but again, for all of those, I got all of that for $4 and most of those are gifts. I don't think I'm selling any of that other than maybe the Beanie Boos. <laughs> so those were all just little fun things. I thought I'd show you guys them. And then I almost forgot, I did pick up some earrings too at the little thrift store. So these are the Huggy Hoops with the little pearl detail. I thought those were so cute. They gave these to me for a dollar. I'm not sure if those are real pearls. Um, I don't think they are, but... I thought they were really pretty. And then I don't own a single pair of silver earrings <laughs> until today. I picked up these that I thought were really fun. They're long, dangly, little metal earrings. I thought those were cute too. So I picked those up and I thought those would be fun to just have a little bit of like a more statement earring. So $1 for both of those, $2 in total for the earrings. But that is the last thing I picked up from the little thrift store. Now we're gonna head to what I picked up at Goodwill, which is even more amazing. So let's start off with a bang, shall we? I was so surprised. All of the shoes and clothing at this Goodwill get marked up so much. If they have any any idea that it could be worth anything, it goes right up to the sky. So I was shocked because I always, if there are Doc Martens at this thrift store, they're always behind the checkout and they're always marked at like 50 bucks. They did not realize that these were Doc Martens. <laughs> so I got these for the price of, they have these marked at, let's see, $10, which is a lot, but for this thrift store, no. Goodwills around me are absolutely insane. So these are kind of their signature oxblood colored Doc Martin, and then we have the bottom, the plus right there, the yellow stitching, and then the tongue also says Doc Martin on it. These are the Maley, M-A-E-L-L-Y, in a ladies size seven. I also had 20% off of everything today, so I got these for $8. So for $8, I think that's a great deal, at least for around where I live here. And I do think that I can probably resell these for at least 50 bucks, probably more like 75, eh, 65 maybe. And so I thought those were really cool though. And they look like they're in excellent condition. So I was really happy to pick up a pair of Doc Martens for not very much around me. And then I picked up this really cute pair of sandals and I was shocked that these were not marked at like more than they were because they often do mark up Madewell at this thrift store. So maybe they just didn't know what this one was. But these are a really fun pair of kind of twiny, not really gladiator style, but I do think that they would tie around the leg. They have really long ties on them. They're gorgeous Madewell sandals and they're in a women's size 10. These look brand new to me. I don't think that these have ever been worn. They look so nice, so new. And these were only marked at $5. So I paid $4 for these after my 20% off. And I just think that's a steal. I know that their sandals don't resell for as much, but these are leather. And I do think that I can probably resell these for around 30 bucks. So that's what I'm gonna hope for for those. Then I'm really excited about these boots. There were two pairs that they had just wheeled out in a new kind of like, they just wheeled out a cart full of shoes to put out on the floor. And I grabbed both of them and looked them up. And this brand is called the Thursday Boot Company. Let me show you the bottoms here. This is a brand I have never picked up before and I'd never heard of, but they felt really nice. At first I was kind of put off because they look like they've been worn a lot, but I figured out that that's actually intentional. Like they're supposed to look kind of like worn in different areas. They're made in small batches and they're really nice boots. So I was happy to pick these up. These were marked at $15 and I did have 
the 20% off. So I'm, it was $12, which is kind of steep, but the comps for these boots from Thursday Boot Company are around $100, and that's what they're selling for. So I'll probably list a little higher than that, 120 maybe, and then hopefully make 100 bucks, which is great. These are in a size eight and a half US, and it says Thursday, every day, handmade in small batches, and they do give me some numbers here on the side too, so I'm assuming that's probably a style number, but these are in really good condition and this nice dark brown. There was another brown that was more of like a traditional, just kind of like cognate brown color, but those were $25. So $10 more than this. And I was like, I just can't justify spending $25 on those boots at a Goodwill. Like, I feel like that's crazy. I also found two different pairs of Hoka's there and they had just wheeled out a fresh pair of Hoka's too. And those were $25. Another pair was 20. I was just like, what is Goodwill charging nowadays? It's crazy. And then the last pair of shoes that I picked up was this, which are a really cool pair of Nikes. And I do not pick up a lot of pairs of Nikes because I just don't know enough about them. But these, I did a reverse image search and these look like they have really good comps. These are the Pegasus and they're in a men's size 12. These were only marked at $10, which is like very cheap for this Goodwill. The bottoms are in great condition. There's just some, you know, dirt on them. So the wear is not on the actual treads, which is great. So I got these for $8 and the comps for these look like they should resell for around 75, maybe a hundred. So I'm happy to pick up something like that. And I think they're really cool with this kind of slip in feature to them. Great condition, really excited about trying out some Nikes, even though I'm not really like a shoe head kind of gal. And then I was super excited to find some good jeans and good pants while I was there. I don't normally find any pants at this place. I usually find some dresses. So I found this pair of really cute white pants. They look like they are in, is it the barrel style? I think so. Um, but they're really, really well made. These are a pair of Everlane pants. And it's been a hot minute since I found Everlane jeans in the wild. So these are in a size four and they're the cropped straight regular pants. They're in a great condition. There's no flaws. These were marked at $6.49. So I paid a little bit, probably around five bucks for those after my 20% off. So I thought those were absolutely stunning. Should probably resell around 40 to 50 bucks. And then this is the only dress that I picked up this time. Yeah, but it was a great one. This is so cute. This is a really nice, almost tweed feeling dress with this gorgeous kind of more fitted bodice and then a flared skirt. Very cute, very high quality. You can see how thick it is. But the best part about this is this is a Ganny dress, which I was so excited about. I do think this is the older tag, but I'm not mad about it. <laughs> Gani does sell for me no matter what the tag looks like. And this one is really, really nice in great condition. And this is a size extra small petite. And I do think that it should resell for probably around 50 to $75, maybe a little bit more. And it was marked at $7.99. So I got this for probably a little bit over $5, maybe around six at the most. And I do think that that was a great pickup. And I am so excited that I found Ganny today. I haven't found Ganny. I've only found, I've only found and sold Ganny twice. Once from the bins, once from a Buffalo exchange. So to find it at a Goodwill was really exciting. And then I had two pairs more of jeans. These ones are a really cute pair of We The Free velvet pants. They're kind of like a black velour all the way down velvet with a button fly, which I thought was really unique and really quite cute. Also marked as six, oh, $5.99, not a bad price, so less than $5 for these. These are from We The Free, so three people in a size 27. And I've sold quite a bit of free people pants, usually around like 30, 35 bucks. So that's what I'm expecting for those. And then these are also a bread and butter kind of jean brand for me. These were marked as $6.49, but these are a pair of Adriana Goldschmied jeans. They're the aged denim, and these are the Farrah skinny ankle, high rise skinny ankle jean. And these are in a really cute wash. So that's why I also grabbed these. They look like they're in brand new condition. I don't even know if they've been worn. They feel brand new. And for like five bucks, I sell Adriana Goldschmied jeans really well. They sell for pretty much around like 35 to $45 for me. So for five bucks, I thought they'd be worth it. And this is a really kind of nice color. I usually find them in a darker wash. So I thought this would be fun to try out. And I really like those. And then I found two more shirts for my dad. These were only marked at $2.50 each. So I thought they would be worth grabbing for him. This one is just a nice gray 
Under Armour tee. I like that they are high quality shirts. I like to find some really fun pieces for my dad because he's not gonna spend money for clothes on himself. But I like to do it for him, especially if I can thrift it. And then another Under Armour tee. Same size, nice red color. I thought he could wear these even if he's just like out fixing something in the shop or if he just wanted to wear them around the house for $2.50 each. Great pickup. I spent what, like four bucks for the both of those? And then last, but certainly not least, I only had one new rack roll out while I was there thrifting, um, but I was really excited. I was the first person to that rack because I did find this, and this is probably one of my best finds of the day. And that would be a St. John piece, which I absolutely love selling. I love selling St. John. This is a gorgeous little blazer and it's so beautiful i love the gold button details look at that isn't that stunning the texture to this is so nice they're so beautiful and even the buttons you can see say saint john on them they have really nice pieces and they resell usually for very good money this right here is the tag it is falling off on one side but saint john it says basics but it's in a size six and it is this absolutely stunning piece. It's so nice, it's so structured. It looks like it's in great condition. Honestly, is this a dress? It's long enough to be it. And it does have the second buttons on the front there. Absolutely gorgeous. It says professional dry clean only. I would wager, I would bet money that this is 100% wool. It feels so nice and it's so beautiful. I am so happy with this. I think it's stunning. And I have sold St. John for pretty good money quite often. I would say for a piece like this, I'm expecting at least $100, right around 100 at least. And it's just like the buttons, the buttons are everything to me. Aren't they just so gorgeous? Like that is some good branding right there. St. John at the Goodwill. And I found so many good things. I found so many good things today. I found a lot of bread and butter at the Little Church thrift store and then at the Goodwill. I paid up for some stuff, but in the end I only paid about $66, I think in total, because I also had some accrued points. And so it was a good day. <laughs> I, I don't know what my favorite piece is, but let me know which piece was your favorite down below. The St. John piece is kind of hard for me to beat, but there's some other great ones in there too. So let me know what you think. I hope you guys had a great time coming thrifting with me today. I enjoyed taking you with me. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.